Hey guys, long time no paint video. So sorry that it, I haven't been posting these as much. I really do want to get back to doing them regularly, but because I have a business and I'm a mom and I have to squeeze them in when I have time, which is very rarely. And these these uh, body paints do take a while, um, depending on how detailed and perfect you want to make them. Mine are never all the way perfect because I'm always running to get kids and stuff. So I didn't record the whole drawing on of the design because I feel like that's not something that I'm going to teach you. It's, you know, we all draw differently and you can draw whatever design you want. I went in and filled in all of the areas above and around the design with ultra white setting powder. I use this whenever I'm going to use a uh, brightly colored or light colored body paint. It just helps it pop. This is the inspiration for my body paint. This is the Hotel California album cover. This is a favorite song of mine. I loved it since I was a kid. It's a beautiful piece of music and uh, I sang it as a lullaby to my kids because I didn't know any like legit lullabies. Um, so I sang them classic rock music. So um, anyways, here I am, body powder, powdering it up all the way onto the arms because I wind up painting my arms as well. And then I'm going in with a water activated body paint. That's all I'm using for this is uh, water activated body paints and eyeshadows. And I use some eyeliner I think up on my face. But So here I'm using an orange and I actually <laughs> might not have started the orange all the way at the building had I done it if I did it over again. It kind of, uh, I could have saved a little time because I wind up putting yellow down there anyway. So I could have started a bit up from the building and then blended the yellow into the orange without having to put the paint underneath. I often try to avoid layering paints unless I'm blending them together for some reason. Because um, you run the risk with water activated paints, or with any paint probably, um, of it moving your paint around or messing up the, the other layer or blending together when you don't want it to. So. Here I'm going in and painting in between every little branch, which turns out I probably didn't have to do that because the ink totally showed through these light colors and then I covered the ink with the black. Here I'm using a, like a burnt orangey red eyeshadow to show where my darker parts of the sunset is going to show. And you can see that from the bottom, from the top of the building up blending into the orange, I added yellow. So, and this was, um, you know, a lot of blending. I just blended and blended and blended, and I had a body paint and an eyeshadow for each of the colors. And the yellow, not so much, but uh, the orange and the red and the purple, I definitely did. Here I'm adding red out from the orange. So I'm trying to darken it up, and this is definitely brighter than my inspiration picture, but I just wanted to punch it up a little bit and put my own flavor on it. So I'm using red body paint first, and then I'm keeping with that same orangey red eyeshadow to blend it together. And I'm going back and forth, back and forth, blending until I get it how I like it, fixing it, tweaking it, and um, honestly this was a lot of blending. <laughs> I could have blended for days. Um, this process actually took uh, the course of a day on and off because I am a mom, like I said, and I have a business, so I was doing other things in between, like picking up children, feeding children, uh, making packages to send out, orders to send out. Here I'm adding in the purple body paint. Um, I just kind of, I hadn't really picked colors before I started and made this up as I went along. But that's the fun part, you know? Whatever you're feeling at that time, you can kind of throw it in there. I knew what I wanted to do, I knew what my inspiration was, but how it turned out as far as color-wise and stuff, and the face is totally made up at that time. So going in, taking it all the way up to my chin, and I'm blending it with an intense eyeshadow. I have a really intense purple eyeshadow. Uh, very pigmented. I do wind up taking this down my arms and I do a ton of blending after this video is over so you can just blend and blend your little heart out until you feel like it is just how you want it. Or depending on how much time you have. Coffee's life. I uh, drink coffee way too late into the day for this and um, but it wound up being okay because I was painting till uh, almost 10 o'clock at night after you know I finished it after I put my kids to bed. So now I'm going in here with black, just black body paint, and um, I'm painting in all of the darkest parts, the shadowy parts, the silhouette parts. I do want it blending this with, uh, as you can see it's a lot of work painting your chest upside down or backward. <laughs> um, I, sorry, what was I saying? I blend it with a dark brown to make shadows, so I only paint the parts black that I know I want to be very black. And then I leave the other areas to fill in with a dark brown, which it's kind of skips too because my camera cut out. 
So I also left some openings where there will be light showing through the building and some lights lighting the building. But I filled in all of my trees, just all the way black. I didn't want to deal with uh, any kind of blending on those little branches. It was already a pain enough to try and fill them all in. And yes, I could have painted directly over the paints and, and added the trees in after I put the background in, but I, like I said, I like to avoid layering my paints unless I want them to blend. So if I really want my paint to pop and I don't want to risk any um, meshing of the colors, I try not to paint underneath the top color with any other body paints because they are water uh, based and they can move. There I'm adding a teal for the lights that light the building. And this is straight off the cover. It's got uh, little teal lights or blue lights that kind of light the building. And it has uh, windows and a part where the sunset, sunset, ugh, where the sunset shines through the building. So I added all those colors in. Now I moved it to my face. I had not really any idea what I was going to do for my face. Um, I went in with white setting powder first and now I'm using that same orangey red color to, I don't know, add in some crazy shading. Uh, Hotel California is about an insane asylum and so I wanted a kind of crazy look but also Hollywood. <laughs> I'm not sure if I accomplished that. I took black eyeshadow and black eyeliner and added some smudgy, almost makeup running looking lines and I put some purple on my lips to blend into the red. Took some phone calls. <laughs> and I even added a little black to really punch up the top lip. I drugged that makeup everywhere. I blended it out and smudged, smudged it out and made it kind of messy and crazy. I added some little bit of white body paint to add some highlights to show some shine or some maybe wet or you know glossy areas. Uh, I wind up putting this a little on my nose and on my eyes and then I add in a silver really glittery eyeshadow also onto a couple of these parts to make it even more bright, more shiny. I'm using body paint on the dark uh, areas to make it a little bit more, to stand out a little bit more, a little more messy, a little more Hollywood damsel diva thing, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and I added a little white underneath the eyes. After this, it's uh, mascara, and I blended for a long time, and then I was done. And I hope you guys like this. If you try and do something like this, please show me, I'd love to see it. Um, please subscribe, and uh, hit the like button, because you know we all need the support. And um, if you have a page, uh, not a page, I'm sorry, a channel or a page, um, leave your uh, your links in down in my comments, so I can check you out too and have a wonderful day.